before we get back to the game, I said that we would take a look at the donation status, and we are at 4,949. Wow. We have exceeded our goal by about 50% already, which is amazing. Awesome. I know some people are still donating. Hopefully, we'll get about 5,000 uh, soon. I'll give a little refresh just in just case. Just in case, Oops. yeah, because it's so close that it could have so gone close. over any second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you everyone who has donated. Let's go ahead and read the uh, the new uh, donations over here. We've got wow. Soren, we've got Christoph, Calum, Josh, Phil, Chris, uh, Shras, Chris, nice, yeah. Sir Linder, Adana, excellent, Aww. thank you, Peter, Robin, Eric, Rasmus, Gerald, Keith, Cohen, TF2, brum, brum, brum. <laughs> I just love saying that name so much. <laughs> Ulrar, Michael, uh, Nut or Newt, uh, the unknown South Jutlander, <laughs> nice. er Ararad, Jonathan, Timothy, Peleg, Joe, Will, Reg Cooper, Jiri. Okay, now we're getting to names we've seen before. Are we? Okay. Yes, we have. I couldn't remember where we had started. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Again, on YouTube, I'll do another full read through after the yeah, stream is over. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, we who has do donated and continues things. to donate. Uh, really appreciate it. This really is a tremendously good cause, and it's amazing that you guys are it helping is. us out with that, so it thank is you. It is seriously one of the, like, the highest rated humanitarian aid charities, like, in the world, basically. Yeah, they do real good work. On all the websites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even the Better Business Bureau. It passes, like, all 20 of their checks or whatever. Wow. It's, yeah. It's Very actually, impressive. it's really impressive. <laughs> and they do so many different things, mm -hmm. which is kind of one of the reasons they're cool. They do yeah, so yeah, yeah, many yeah. different things. They don't just have one shtick. They do things yeah. that are needed as they are needed. They help educate kids. They've got mm -hmm. health programs. They've got all kinds of stuff. It's awesome. <clears throat> yeah, so donate early. Donate often. As much as possible. Let's yes, let's please. break some records here. Decrease uh, world suck. Decrease world the suck. The brothers would say. That's right. I don't often go around calling myself, you know, a geek or whatever. But I have to admit I'm kind of a bit of a nerd fighter. <laughs> Do you fight nerds? <gasps> well, see, as a moderator, yes, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> so back in our game of Democracy uh. 3, the new version of Democracy 3, Africa, that is going to come out next month. This is not a mod. This is not an extra DLC. It's sort of a standalone version of Democracy game. 3 set in Africa. Um, we're playing as Egypt, which is apparently completely foobard. Wow, is it a hard Apparently, thing to deal with? Yeah. Um, and <laughs> the global economy continues to be in recession, which is draining our GDP, which is resulting in a credit rating downgrade, which is really unpleasant. Because we really needed to not have another one of those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've gone from 4% of the vote to 2%. It's gone what? down a bit. Why? I what? don't know. What did we do this time that... I'm trying to remember what we did in the last turn. I mean, we did good things. Mm-hmm. I thought... <laughs> Well, yeah, I think it's because the G the world uh, recession, reducing GDP, we're being blamed for that when we can't control we're it. We're being bl awesome. Okay. Hopefully, cool. hopefully the world economy will bounce back soon, and then ours will improve. That would be nice. It would I be. hate how in this game that always seems to happen that when your GDP starts to be be screwed up. That's always when the world goes into recession, too. Yeah. They always seem to go hand in hand. It's like I'm already having a problem. Oh, now it's worse. <laughs> Like, every time, I swear. <laughs> and then it doesn't even matter what you do, because the world G or world recession is going to just keep screwing you up no matter what. Yeah. It sucks. <laughs> Your people do not want good things. It's As true. Gently. They are fighting us tooth and nail against us trying to improve the country. That's how it feels. This is nuts. Can we check the skills shortage? I'm surprised it didn't go. I really expected it to go away. Oh, it's right on the cusp. Almost, yeah. One more turn. Is it still going down or has it evened out I'm there? I'm pretty sure it's still going down. I mean, the adult uh, education okay. subsidies still haven't kicked in yet right. all the way, and some okay. of the other education and stuff is still developing. I think that's a bigger, like, section than yeah. it was before. And if you though, click so on good. education, I think it's still being affected by some stuff that's building up. You can see the technology grants, right, university right. grants, they yeah. haven't all okay. kicked in yet. So okay. your education is still going up. That's still a problem. The, oh, it's going down, though. Good. That's really good. Good, okay. The downside is... Um, hey, Slovenian Devil, thanks for the sub. I love that name. That's fun. <laughs> the downside is, um, I think the election's in the next quarter, so... Oh, no. I, do, I don't think our 2% oh, of the vote no. is going to, you know, carry us to victory here. I mean, unless none of the other parties have any... Yeah. You know, any voters either. <clears throat> what does economy type mean? So, yeah, that's, that's a new thing in Democracy 3 Africa. Um, and I think it represents the move from like, you know, very low tech uh, economy to a higher tech economy over time. Oh, okay. 
So our economy type is changing then, I guess, is what this indicates? Yeah, okay. I believe that's what it represents. Okay, weird. Interesting. Yes, weird and interesting. <laughs> Let's just sub... Oh, nipple jam! Thanks for the resub! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Some of your names, you guys. Sometimes I'm like, I have to type this now. <laughs> Maybe 97% of the population decides not to vote. You never know. That's it right. Happen. Yeah. It totally happened. That's our strategy. We're going to discourage the vote. Ban voting. Yeah, there we go. That's how we'll stay in power. We'll tax voting. <laughs> That's how we're going to pay for a deficit. <laughs> I like I like the ban voting thing. Just ban voting. Make it a total like fascist dictatorship or whatever. Mm -hmm. So that we can stay in power to make things actually better. Yeah. And then re-implement ban- or re-implement voting. voting. One of those things. Th that's pretty much how I would do things in, in <laughs> Tropico. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, the other mods will take care of that. Okay. There is a PayPal- Wait, there is a way to, um, donate via PayPal. Yeah. The- the mods will help you. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So, uh. So what now? <laughs> everything. That's going down, that's good. What's that symbol? It's a tank. Military interference uh, went down and then it right back, back out. out. Yeah, okay. Because our stability still sucks. Oh. And, uh, and it's like this loop. Our stability How is low, so our democracy is low. Our democracy is low, so our stability is low. Uh, right. We can't break out of this. We need more more foreign interference. Except I think that brings down some other things. And then we got those bad events, which was that part of it. That didn't help. Yeah. Because it was going up, then we had a bad event. Then it was going up again, GDP's we got another bad helping. event. Yeah. Yeah. Democracy is just not <laughs> changing no matter what we do. Yeah. And I think democracy is mostly being brought down by a poor stability. They bring each I other guess, down. Yeah. And the military and interference. And the military interference. Okay, we let's have to do something. Let's just ban the military. Oh let's let's shut down the military. There's got to be a way. Let's do it. There's got to be a better way. There has to there must be. Oh, probably. Oh my god. I don't even know. I don't... Wasn't there... There was things here. Um... I mean, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I can't tell. Try it. Let's see. Oh my god. Well, you know what we could... We could implement and then cancel. <laughs> If we don't like it. If we don't like it. The voters like it. Let's do True. it. True. I mean, will that help with the situation, though? I don't even know if it will. Let's find out. Foreign investments. Foreign relations. That's good. Foreign aid received is good. It's good. Let's max it out. Oh, my God. Yeah. There we go. Liberals are not happy about it. Eh. Or patriots. How does that work? Okay. Test it for science. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking next turn we get rid of the skill shortage finally, and then all of a sudden our economy improves radically. Well, that would help, yeah. yeah. The uncompetitive economy is also a problem. It's going that, down. That mostly gets resolved by improving productivity, which comes about a, from better health, better That's education. Going yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, things are going in the right direction. Yeah. It's just everything is so slow. Yep. Yeah. And that's really slow. Okay, how can we help that? What are you laughing at? <laughs> it's what Soul Pelt says. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> it's true. I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> he often has that look when, when you know, we're talking about things that I think are a good idea. Because he's thinking about all the different ways he would do it and all the bad things oh, that can I, happen. I and he's like, sure, go for What's it. What's great about this when I don't have to play the game is I basically just be like, get to be like Twitch, where I just sit back here and just troll nonstop. Uh-huh. I'm looking uh -huh. to him for, you know, help and, and feedback, like actual opinions and assistance. And he's just like, uh-huh, sure, yeah, do that. Uh -huh, you know what I really like great. about the screen? The low health is decreasing elderly membership. Well, yeah, that sort of makes sense. It does. It totally makes sense, but it's the way it's presented. It's a little it's strange, hilarious. but yeah. Most people are choosing to become elderly. Choosing to become... Oh my god. The pollution's really having an effect on it. What is the working week? Why is that? I think because of the labor laws. Labor laws that we don't have? They're very pro-employer, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if we should... How much of a difference would it make? Gah! Well, it tr dramatically shrinks the working week. And then, but it also affects productivity. Yeah, well, 
Makes sense. I know, but right now that's a bad thing, right? That's one of those, is it, mm -hmm. it's a good thing, but is it good right now? Yeah. On the other hand, improving health, which is what's going to happen to the shorter work week, is going to improve productivity. Right. Well, if we went over this way, it would help pr prove democracy a bit, too. And wages. And socialism, like, yeah. membership. Yep. Yeah. Oh my god. Is it worth it with the productivity loss? Sure. It's fine. Real opinion. Yes. It's not that face that I, you make. I would totally do it. <laughs> I would totally do this. Here ish? Yep. I mostly try to fix productivity by health and education and technology. Yeah. All right. What are some of these things down here that I can never remember? Well, some of them are new too, so. Yeah, that too. Oh, we shouldn't be improving the education system. Probably. It's super expensive. I know. Look at that. Damn it. I know. I should just cancel oh, state God. schools. It really is. We'll just keep cutting funding for this until it's all replaced by private schools. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, fine. I guess you don't want my help. Oh, my God. Help. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. There's another thing that's bringing down democracy. And was free. We probably could have tweaked this a long time ago. <laughs> this, but these are all new. They, they uh, very, the literally, even though it's ironic, in the game called Democracy, <laughs> is the Democracy stat is brand new to <coughs> yeah, Egypt or yeah. to Africa here. To the Africa democracy, game, yeah. stability, all those things. It's actually quite a bit more interesting. I find this version is going to be way more interesting and in, in deep than the the base version of Democracy Three. April Eyes is right. I need a kiss for luck over my other shoulder. Yes. <laughs> the devil in the yes. Head. I mean, I think. Although Ava... half the time she'll troll just as much. Oh, oh, yeah. You guys don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you get these two together. <laughs> Ava and Quill are a dangerous combination. We're, we're sort of like the democracy stability combo. We feed off each other in a bad they, way. They kind of, yeah. they really do. They're actually, you know, for all their differences, you know, they have very different channels, different content, different right. way of playing yeah. games. They're, they actually are very much alike in a lot of ways. It's a little creepy. <laughs> very creepy, yeah. <laughs> um, There was something else that I thought I saw. Saw, but I don't know where it went now, so I hope it wasn't important. <laughs> um, yeah, Wolfgang, there's a homeless situation, but honestly, it's like so low down our list of like emergency things. Everything is emergency, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. every single thing is bad. <laughs> okay, there's someone saying that they don't think we've banned female genital mutilation, but I'm pretty sure yeah. that was like the very first yeah. round that got saved. It's confusing because it? I don't know. it still shows up. In the health. If we look at wherever the frickin' the, the actual up here, health thing. The female genital mutilation. Yeah, but but where's the actual. There we go. Right health. There, yeah. But you see, it still shows up in the list bringing down health. Click on it though, just to make sure. Yeah, yeah. which is, is this. It still exists, but right. it's going down. And we have banned it. This is our ban, but it takes yeah, heavily enforced forever. Ban. These yeah. are in quarters, so it takes four years right. for this to get full strength. And even then, it doesn't eliminate FGM. It no. just brings it down. It's heavily enforced that people try to stop it. People yeah. still do it. And the problem is, uh, this event here, I don't think it can actually go away ever completely. Like, this is oh a bad gosh. event. Okay. It has to go below the green line yeah. to stop, and I don't think it can. I'm pretty oh, wow. sure in my Ghana test game, I had it brought it all the way down to the minimal. Oh. And I think it was still there. Now, it wasn't doing much anymore because it was mostly gone, but it was still an issue that was around and well, causing issues. Yeah, I it's think still... it's trying to reflect that it is a, a, a deeply seated, like, cultural yeah. Thing. Yeah. In a lot of ways, and it, religious to some extent. And in and in, in a some four places, year term, it's simply not realistic to assume that it's going to disappear as yeah. being an issue completely. Just banning something doesn't make it go away. Yeah. I mean, we'd like to think it does, but it doesn't. <laughs> I I noticed by the way, a couple of people commented. So did Ascension marry her mom? Because you know, a lot of people marry their dads. Yes, I married my mother, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Effectively, yeah. that's yeah. You yeah. marry someone who reminds you of your whatever. Very much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> uh... Well, I'm feeling very confident that the skill shortage is going to go away next turn. Probably. Which is going to be good. Probably. Oh, is yeah. there some other problem you I can start tackling? I was looking at stuff here, and then I got sidetracked by stuff. Mm. I don't, oh, yeah. I don't know what all these things do, and I wanted to see... Oh, yeah, well, you didn't actually change the legislative independence. Oh, right, because I, I was going to ask you what it meant, and then we got distracted by some other point, mm. and... What exactly is it? Oh, is this, is this one doing versus right. the other one? So it's sort of like a, a subdivision in government. Like in the U.S., for example, you have three branches of government. Mm -hmm. I think three. I don't know. 
It's like you've got the president type thing, that's the executive. Mm -hmm. Then you have the judicial branch, which is the superior court and whatever. Right. And then you have what, the legislative branch or whatever, so. which yeah. is, you know, Congress and the Senate and stuff like that. Okay. And they don't really get to tell each other what to do. So you've got this division of power, which means no single branch of government can just run away with things and impose right, their right, will. Right, right, right. And so it's assuming like that this. layers they have to go through and they all kind of have to work together. And... Exactly. Okay. So assuming that that's what they mean, by right. bringing this higher up, it should boost democracy because. You're allowing, yeah. So you've got again more and more checks and balances. And it's free. It's free. And it does it pretty significantly. Yeah. Would have been nice to do right from the. But Sarah. now we know. Now we know more yeah. of these things. Yeah. And so the next time we play, <laughs> we'll know that like, hey, let's make these adjustments early to start boosting democracy early. The next time that we play, a country that isn't Egypt, <laughs> because oh my God, it's so hard. <clears throat> that would help with the gender inequality. It mm -hmm. would make everybody else angry. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was misreading where that was going. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, how is that making the religious happier? But no, it's not. That doesn't make sense. And we don't have any power right now, anyway. Or capital, I should say. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right, then. Are we saving over the last one? We're yeah, just gonna sure. keep doing. And Daniel, this is the first and probably only term. Oh, that's right. We're probably done now, aren't we? Uh, we got a couple more quarters, I think. Oh, you think? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said this was our last one or something. Uh, I wasn't sure. I knew okay. it was coming close to the end. We're not quite there yet. Oh, oh. oh maybe I'm wrong. Never mind. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm a scared, you guys. GG. Probably, yeah. I mean, all Probably. will work. We've dramatically improved education. I, and I'm things sure, are getting better. I'm sure the skill shortage is ending this time. But yeah, we have, like, no activists. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow, did we lose hardcore. We got wrecked. Hardcore. There were more people not voting than people who came out to vote for us. <laughs> <laughs> Well, damn. Uh, I mean, it does suck when the country was literally 100% conservative and 100% religious, and most of our policies were anti-conservative and anti-religious. Yeah. That is going to be what happens. But we did good things for this country. We totally did. Oh, my God. Other than bankrupting it. It was already not doing well in that department. On the bright side, we didn't get assassinated. We didn't get assassinated, yes. So let's retire to obscurity, Isn't apparently. Isn't that a great, <laughs> when the, the best you can say, really, is that you uh, didn't get killed? Yeah. We didn't die. Obscurity. Wow. Egypt cannot Essentia. Yeah. Or Essentia cannot Egypt. One of the others. Play again, they're already saying. Well, how did we you could. ever get elected? I know, right, Vinny? Exactly. With that kind of outcome? Yeah. Like, how did that even happen? Apparently we <laughs> lied during your election platform. Yeah. I'm a bad Egyptian. I want to go to Egypt one day. Apparently they won't like me. No. <laughs> we'll not let you in. They're going to see this video and be like, we can never let you come into our country. You're going to ruin it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, are we gonna play another one? We could do this. We could do Fate of the World. We could do 80 Days. I want to do, do all the things. Octodad. We could do. Okay, I want to do Octodad slightly less. Okay. <laughs> Only because it really, really stresses me out, and it, it, it like involves me getting more act. I mean, I know you don't actually physically have to get more into it, but somehow you do anyway. Yeah. And my neck and stuff is still kind of sore. <laughs> And I think I just saw someone say something about um, Essentia has to play Denmark or whatever. And I actually, I think I've downloaded, I think it's a Denmark mod for my like original Democracy 3 game. And I've definitely played like a, yeah, liberal socialist Denmark before. I like it. <laughs> so you guys don't know, okay. So the choice are gonna be more Democracy 3 Africa. Fate of the World, which if you haven't seen before, basically is sort of like the Moxie 3, except we're trying to save the entire world from, you know, global warming and running out of, you yeah. know, oil and riots and food and you're like a, water. And... Yeah, you're like a, you, a international environmental governmental organization, sort of. <laughs> uh, there was 80 Days, which is a beautiful oh, game. I love that game. Uh, about the sort of Jewel Vernsey kind of thing yeah. where you have to go around the world in 80 days and there's all these different paths to take and different ways of transportation. It's got a steampunky element and all kinds of things like that. Uh, there's Plague Inc. Oh, God. Leave it off. I think I would be bad at that. All right. 
Uh, political machine. Geoguessr. Political machine might be fun. I mean, uh, it's very similar to the democracy in a way. Political machine, 2016. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so we'll leave off uh, Octodad then. They're like CK2 <laughs> and Tropico. It's like, what? <laughs> Uh, we have a list of games that we think would work well with Essentia here. No, I mean, I'm and I'm pretty much up for playing all those games at some point today, as long as my energy holds out. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but what do you want us to play now? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'll, I'll add a couple of things just to get a sense. Yeah, because of, of we can use it for later. How yeah. people might feel. But as always, we this is not binding. We're going to, you know, we'll, we'll look at this and get us, and then be like, okay, what do we feel like the most? I probably can't do it. You'd probably mostly be playing it yourself while Which I one? look over your shoulder. But did you want to try that mod for EU4? Oh, the Quill Essentialist yeah. Yorkshire thing? <laughs> uh, no, I think I've been playing too much EU4. It's too much? Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go and uh, create this, I think. Yeah, Dwarf Fortress and Tropico are not really likely, guys. I'm very sorry. <laughs> My eyes kind of cross looking at Dwarf Fortress. I have no idea what it even like what I'm even looking at. And Tropico is basically just like an anti essential game. I swear. Okay, and you can <laughs> vote more than uh, you can vote for more than one thing yeah. on that poll. So vote for all the things you're into. Yeah. KSP. You guys are thinking this is a normal Saturday cool stream. I'm sorry, but I don't play most of the games he plays. <laughs> I don't even know how to play most of the games he plays. We are now up to fifty-seven hundred and sixty-six dollars. Must have another thousand since the last time we checked here. Wow! Yeah. Brandon oh, Jones, uh, Marcus, Go Gopal, on. Ebony, Jessica, David, Fizzy, Fizzy Cat, I like that. Kelly, Michael, Pascal, Pascal. Jasper, Nipple Jam, <laughs> nice. Matt, and then Sora. And then we're back on the last one over oh my here. God, you guys. Again, thank you, everyone. We will. Uh, I will do another video reading out all the things in full in the uh -huh. future. For sure. Let's take a look at what the straw poll is. Oh, Saturdays looking like. are the same. No, Saturdays are not the same. Oh, that's the wrong straw poll. Oh, yes, it Wait. is. <laughs> I would be Did up I... for trying South Africa if is. we did. Because um, it came in second, <clears throat> first of all. Right, right, right. And, I mean, it would probably have. It'd probably be less broken. Probably slightly less broken, but like some. Like, it would probably have a lot more ethnic diversity and maybe more issues there that we would mm -hmm. have to, like, balance and stuff like that, which might be interesting. <clears throat> well, Slightly different. Democracy 3 is definitely leading in the wow. polls. You guys are really liking this mm -hmm. game. Awesome. And then, basically, tied for second is 80 Days and Fate of the World, both of which we're really into. Yeah. Those two and GeoGuessr, I mean, are, like, those are basically my four favorites yeah. on the list. So, you guys are awesome. <laughs> so, with that, Essentia, what are you most in the mood for? You want to give a try to South Africa? I mean, I... Or do you want you to mix it up? me with this game. I can play this game, like, mm -hmm. obsessively for a week. Clear. And then I don't play another game again for a year, but I will play this game obsessively for a week, so... Well, clearly people like it. <laughs> Alright, if there you guys you. are up for more of this, then... Go for it! Are you bored yet? No, I'm good! Okay. Because, you know, we gotta keep Quill entertained, too, right? It's, it is his channel. I don't want to just, like, totally bore No, today you take it over. You take it over for charity. <laughs> 